Welcome to Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems, Implementing Health Interoperability, Lecture E. This unit will cover the following learning objectives. 1. Identify major tasks required to implement interoperability. 2. Explain why interoperability implementation projects are needed. 3. Define and discuss each phase of the interoperability implementation lifecycle. 4. Describe how to apply each phase of the interoperability implementation lifecycle to simple interoperability implementation problems. And 5. List types of production issues with interoperability and identify and describe support strategies. In this lecture, you will be able to identify and describe the quote, go live, unquote, phase of interoperability implementation. The quote, go live, unquote, phase is when the system is ready to move over into production following the successful completion of all of the other tasks. It is the phase for which you prepare and then execute the production move of your interoperability project. It consists of scheduling the move, finalizing the build to be moved, writing a go-live plan, planning for after go-live, executing the production move, and initiating support for the new interoperability implementation. Whenever a change is made in an IT environment, it is important that the change is coordinated with all other changes and with business operations. That is why formal change control procedures need to be followed. Change management is described in detail as part of a set of processes known as Information Technology Services Management or ITSM. Basically, it is important to pick a time that works with everyone involved to communicate widely about the change and to plan for any expected downtime. Interfaces are very important, so downtime of interfaces can be very disruptive to operations. Plan carefully. Before going live, make sure you know all the configuration items that are part of the change and save copies of what you plan to change. You might even want to do a practice go live, in which you turn on the feeds from a production system, but point them to a test system and then analyze the results. Again, planning is crucial and go live is a team effort. Write a detailed, ordered checklist with each step. When possible, automate the steps using scripting languages. Include imports, resynchronization of data, communication steps, and check to ensure that the information is really flowing everywhere it needs to go and that the information is correct. When it comes to downtime, scheduled downtime may be inconvenient, but unscheduled downtime can lead to serious operational and safety issues. Allocate enough time to implement the change and check it and include a buffer. You may want to be extra observant when you first move to production. Sometimes a new change will break something unexpected, so watch closely for a while. This sample go life plan is for a patient-facing medication query application. Note that it includes technical steps as well as communication steps. Good change management process dictates that you should always be prepared to back out of a change if it is found to cause problems or if it takes too long, leading to unscheduled downtime. The time right after go live is a time for extra vigilance in support. Expect the worst as inexperienced users need help. Process change is hard for users and problems not detected during the testing phase will be found in production. Make sure to staff appropriately with people on the floor and behind the scenes. Have a coverage schedule because if serious problems arise, people will need relief. Weekends, weekdays, and nights all offer different challenges. For example, weekends are often quieter, so the data flow is different and there are different users during those times. In the middle of the night, some systems have background batch processes that run that could slow down other processes. Some areas might have higher volume, such as the emergency department. Mornings on weekends might have high volume. The point is when your new implementation successfully survives the challenges of the first day in production, it may not still be fully proven until it has run through nights, weekends, 
holidays, staff changes, and has a run for a period of time that allows the users to become accustomed and reliant on its availability. Successful production life of an interoperability implementation needs to be planned for. Plan to assure that your implementation will be well supported. Make sure the technology and the surrounding processes will be supported. Make sure there is support technology and staff in place to ensure that the interoperability will continue to work and that service disruptions will be quickly detected and restored. Also, it is quite common that production will need to be changed. Plan for the availability to continually upgrade production. Make sure you have change control processes in place and test systems available separate from production. We will discuss supporting production in more depth in the next lecture. This concludes Lecture E of Implementing Health Interoperability. To summarize, the quote, go live, unquote, phase is the phase for which you prepare and then execute the production move of your interoperability project. As with other phases, it is important to plan by keeping a detailed go-live plan, providing support for the go-live, and planning for after the go-live.